Hello, welcome to our very first virtual top 10 event. I'm Sydney. And I'm Lily. And we're on the board of directors at the Young Preservationist Association. We are so pleased to share this event with you. Since we're not able to meet in person and because of all of the challenges we're all facing this year, we thought it would be great to bring you some good news. We're presenting for the first time our top 10 list of success stories for 2020. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the chair of our board, Julie Collins. My name is Julie Collins and I'm the board chair of the YPA. Thank you for joining us for this year's virtual top 10. Now we'll turn it over to Matthew Craig, our executive director, who will be presenting our awards for this year. Thank you, Julie. My name is Matthew Craig. I'm the executive director for the Young Preservationist Association and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to our virtual top 10 for 2020, our virtual tour of the success stories. And it's nice for us to have an opportunity to share these success stories, especially for some of the buildings that have been on our top 10 preservation opportunity list for many years running. But first things first, we wanna take a moment to shine the spotlight on a couple of our dear friends who are deserving of our notice because of the good work that they do. First up is our Preservationist of the Year. Uh, this is a dear friend. He is the board president for Preservation Pittsburgh. His name is Matthew Falcone, and we are honoring him this year as our Preservationist of the Year. Matthew is one of those persons who is doing so many things behind the scenes that you don't even realize the impact that he's making. But we realize the impact that he's making because of all the good work he does with historic nominations, being on the board of the Historic Review Commission, and just generally being a good ally for us in times when we've needed his counsel. So we wanna thank Matthew Falcone this year as our Preservationist of the Year. Now, many of you know every year, we also have our Dan Holland Promise Award winner. This year, I'm very excited to say that our Dan Holland Promise Award winner is Sarah Marsum. Some of you may know Sarah from her work with the Rust Belt Coalition of Young Preservationists, uh, an organization that we helped to found, and it is our great honor to award her for all the good work that she has done in helping to make that organization nationally renowned and to bring all the young preservation groups together into a coalition that can have a large impact in its community. So our great thanks to Sarah for the work that she does and also to Matthew for the work that he does. A big thank you to the Young Preservationist Association. Thank you for honoring me with this year's Promise Award. When I look to my peers in the preservation movement, I'm continually inspired and motivated by how they're pushing boundaries to make the field and movement more inclusive, more accessible, more creative, more dynamic in so many ways. So it's incredibly humbling that you all selected me this year. I cannot wait to see how all of us continue to work together to dismantle preservation in the coming months, in the coming years, and for as long as it takes to change the preservation movement to ensure that we are preserving and telling the stories of the full American history. Thank you. I'd also like to say thank you for the work that you're doing. Please do consider becoming a member of the Young Preservations Association because every bit of membership helps. It helps us know that you're paying attention and enjoying the work that we're doing. It also lets us know that you're there and we can count on you for your support. Thank you very much for everything that you've done to help us have the best year that we've ever had, considering that it's been such a trying year for everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Yost on the board here at YPA. Be sure to check back with, in with us tomorrow right here as we continue our virtual top 10 tour of 2020, highlighting our regional successful preservation stories. We'll see you next time, and again, thank you for joining us.